Hi, I'm Joel Kaufman, Senior Technical Marketing Manager for Weka. And today, I'm going to show you how we can do a full deployment in AWS, fully automated, and make it easy for you to move to the cloud using Weka. The first step in planning your Weka implementation is to go to start.weka.io. At this location, you'll find the ability to go ahead and match capacity requirements, I.O. requirements, and provide a configuration that will meet those needs. So starting out by looking at the web page, you go ahead and plug in your information on the left-hand side for capacity and performance. On the right-hand side, it will dynamically go ahead and give you a set of configurations that meet those requirements. Once you have it in place and you make the decision which one of these configurations you want, go ahead and click the Deploy to AWS button. What the Deploy to AWS button does is it begins to create an AWS CloudFormation script. The importance of using an AWS CloudFormation script is it gives you a highly consistent and programmable deployment methodology. Once the script is in place, it's going to ask you a couple of questions such as, what version of Weka would you like to run? What region of AWS would you like to deploy this in? What type of clients would you like to attach to it? So it's no longer just the storage or data platform, but also are there any additional types of clients that need to run applications that you want to put into place to attach to that storage? At that point, you click the Deploy to AWS button, and we move forward. The CloudFormation script, when you click the button, takes you to your AWS console. You log in, and then what it will do is it'll import that information and ask you to fill in a few more details about how to create that quick stack. Some of the details that you're going to need to provide are the custom name of the stack. In this case, I'm going to create one called just AWS Deploy Demo. You're going to input networking information, subnet information, security information, and additional information about things such as what your SSH key is for access and more. At the end of this page, you just click Create Stack, and that's it. Switching over to the Stack view inside of the AWS console, you can see that we now have a new stack called AWS Deploy Demo, and the status is Create in Progress. If I fast forward a little bit, and I show you all the events associated with that stack, you'll begin to see all the resource trees that are coming into place. It's creating the network policies, the ENI policies, the instance creation setup. It begins to bring all of the EC2 instances to bear against the environment. So as you can see, all of the Weka backends, which provide the storage services, as well as all the clients, have been created inside of the AWS console. At this point, what the CloudFormation script will do is automate deploying the actual Weka software on top of those EC2 instances and on top of that network that has been created. Inside the AWS console now, you can click on the Resources tab and not only see each one of those individual EC2 instances, you'll be able to go in and see the outputs where you can go in and access any of these systems so that you can manage them individually. And finally, if we click the Outputs tab at the very end here, it'll actually give you the web URL where you can go in and directly access the Weka GUI. Once the Outputs tab actually shows it, it means that the Weka system has completely booted inside of the EC2 instances and is actually available to serve data. Let's go ahead and click in here. And now you can see the Weka login page. So now that we're at the Weka login page, let's go ahead and log in. And apparently I don't know how to type because I keep miss <laughs> misspelling the password multiple times. <laughs> and once that's done, as you can see here, here's the brand new Weka 4 dashboard showing you all the information about the cluster. It's up and running. It's ready to serve data. Now, to be fair, we fast forward this a little bit. Normally, this is about a 15 to 20 minute process, and we brought it down to three or four minutes. But keep in mind, it is only 20 minutes, and you can get all the power of Weka inside of AWS that easy.